Morning, folks. Morning. I think we've decided we're going to stay here another day. We've got the sun shining. Mm. Uh, because there's a little garden centre around here and there's a cafeteria in there. Probably go and get some lunch in there later on. There's a walk. Um, if Pat's interested, yeah, might go have a look at that walk. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna stay another day here, I think, if we can. I should think we can. A little golf club, isn't there? Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a, last time we were here we went in the little golf club and had a drink, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. And there's a, a big big golfing place just over the field, isn't there, from here? Um some stately home or whatever that does golfing. Would that be the Name of this hall that we're and it, staying is it now. Ashton Hall, is it? Ashton Hall, is it? Uh, yeah. I know you, there's a big golfing place. There, I've forgotten what what we were told last year. Yeah. I think it was last year. Yeah. That's right. Um. Nothing else. No. To report. Did you so. tell them we didn't have any problems on the ferry? No, I didn't say we didn't. Um, no. I filmed it. I filmed what? What we were doing. Um, so yeah. Quite, we, quite a good trip, really. I spent most of my time doing my cross stitch. You were on your phone a bit, weren't you? Yeah. No, because there were no signal. Oh, weren't there a signal? No. Oh, I thought you were on your phone. I wasn't. Oh, I don't know what you were doing then. Nothing, just staring, Nothing, just staring, staring into, into thin air. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, there were people walking about and yeah. trying to find places to sit. Yeah, there were a lot, a, there weren't as many people upstairs in that top lounge. No. When we went downstairs to get a coffee, well not chocolate. Yeah. There were a lot of people down there, weren't there? Yeah. And there were a lot of people in, in the um, room where we got our breakfast as well. That mm. was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. After a while. Yeah. There was some some seating in it, too, like. Yeah, um, it's a comfortable ship to, mm, travel to, on. to travel on, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. There were... I can't understand why, why, when, when we were coming into Asian, weren't far out of Asian, and suddenly everybody went, woo, and the boat sort of went down a, a, on a wave or something. Mm. You remember? Yeah. Well, you went woo and all. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Was that when we turned in round? No. No, before No, that. no, no, no. We were out at harbour. We were right. heading, we weren't far out well, of Asia. Been, been some kind of... I mean, the sea was calm. Yeah. But why it did that, I don't know, but mm. it did It did go up and down. Yeah. Normally, it's just, you can't hardly feel it. Um... Oh. I don't know what, they were very helpful. Yeah, they were helpful, yeah. The, both the, on deck eight, both the water, um, you can get fresh water from fillers. And the one on deck eight, well, both of them on deck eight were not working. Fillers? Oh, yeah, you mean to drink? To drink, yeah. What, oh, drink. right. They weren't working, but I noticed the one in the cafeteria downstairs were working because people were filling the bottles up water bottle right mm. okay so, yeah mm. yeah they were all very helpful mm. 
And we just had, just had enough money for that hot chocolate and a cake, didn't we? Two yeah, hot chocolates. we needed to spend all as Manx money. Yeah, because you can't year, spend it when you get back. I had a lot of trouble exchanging it for for sterling last year, so I thought I'm not bringing any Manx money back with me this time. Well, you spent it on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Mm. It, it's actually mm. very nice here because you feel as though you're in middle of woods, but it's a clearing. Yeah. You're not. You're mm. not in the woods, but no. it's like a yeah an area that's cleared. I think he puts sheep in here sometimes because there's oh. there's fencing now, metal fencing. All oh, right. There. Oh, maybe he does. He yeah. has got a couple of sheep, which I remember he had last time we came here. Oh, in the field, just right. up here. Mm. Yeah, this 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 is fifteen quid a night. I mean, there's yeah. no hookups, but no. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's very quiet. It's really quiet we place. Fell, we fell asleep. We were watching gold yeah. diggers and just yeah, we were. We were out. Yeah, we were. We, yeah. were. we were up early, weren't we? Turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, we were 10 o'clock, I don't know, we, mm. were, we were off, weren't we? Yeah. Never heard a thing last night here. No. I only yeah. got up once at night and that were it, or straight back off again. <laughs> Till about 10 past 8 this morning. Yeah. Mm. I think I can see some... Um, well, what do you call them pink things that grow on trees? Um, um, rhododendrons. Rhododendrons. I think I can see some through that wood oh. over there. I can see some up pink anyway. Just hang on. Yeah, I see it. You will not be able to see pink, I can assure you. It's through there though. That's pa. She sees... She, when we were in that supermarket yesterday, um, the Asda, yesterday, uh, the, the, we, went, we, took, we were at the cash out and she said, no, we don't give cash back. And, and the, the cash machine was out of order and this guy needed cash on this site. So she said, if you go to the ser serve yourself machines, you can get cash out from them. But you need to buy some. Just go and buy a packet of sweets or some. So I went and got some... Um, Gaviscon. Gaviscon. Um, They're always um, happy. <laughs> I, yeah, absolutely. And while I did all that on my own, I left Pat with the barra uh, while I sorted that out. And she noticed these trolleys full of food and you she do. says these the, the, I noticed all these trolleys full of food for um, for the food banks that people have donated and I said how do you know how do you know that that's what that's what they are she says oh because I've seen them before I said, have you she says yeah they're, they're wherever we go as do, as do, they're there I have never ever seen them. <laughs> and Pat, they're in most supermarkets, aren't they? I don't know. Um, I don't know. One at trolleys that you push and there's dry foods in and tin stuff. I'd just assume it was someone's trolley that they'd left and <laughs> gone off for summer and were coming back, oh. or it what people, you know, if you order stuff online, somebody mm. goes round and gets it for you, don't they? I'd have, I'd have just assumed it was somewhat like that. I'm, no. Never in a million years would I have thought it was mm. for food banks. I was checking change machine out as well. So what do people do? Well, they pick extra up, an extra packet of something or an extra tin or something, and then when they get when they've paid for it and gone through the thing, they'll put it in the basket. Oh, right. You know, like pamphlets. That or, people benevolent. Um. Suits, just things that are not fresh, not fresh. Yeah, tin it, stuff. Yeah, tin stuff and dried stuff. Yeah, pasta and 
sauce, it's them sort of things. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, it had never even occurred to me. Well, he's just been telling me this morning about <gasps> people who are, you know, really struggling out there. I were, I were on Facebook this morning. And it was um, most, I belong to a couple of groups, uh, van life groups, and people put comments on. People, there were a, a lady who had, and it, it was anonymous, didn't leave a name or anything, it was anonymous. And she was saying that she's fed up of work, work. Her, her husband comes home from work and he's that knackered that after tea he just falls asleep and then she has to go out to work um, and they hardly ever see one another and um, she said after we're both working full time and paying bills we've not left we can go out about once a month summer and if they go out and meet someone and they say Oh, we're gonna go somewhere. They have to say, "Oh, oh no, it's okay. We we're, we're we're going home. They can't go because they know they can't afford it." And she said, "So, I've been reading it, all these people who are living, given up, sold up, and gone to live it, living full time in the vans." She was saying, "Now, I'm I'm really seriously thinking about it, but I'm really scared of doing it. I don't know how you do it." Or, and then there are all these comments from people, lots and lots of comments from different people who were more or less saying the same thing. There's lots and lots of people out there. There were people mentioned their age a few times and they were in the 50s and they were just knackered and fed up of treading water mm. um, and thinking seriously about giving up and doing van life because they just can't get ahead at all. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That was just yeah. one post that one lady had put up there and it prov provoked all this response. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't half hitting people, <clears throat> you know, this yeah. inflation and, um, and greed. Well, you know, some people are just getting richer and richer. Yeah. And others can barely keep afloat. Yeah. Even two wages. Yeah. And they're still only treading water. Crazy, isn't it? Well, let's face it, people don't get paid only massive amounts, do they? Some do. Some do, I will admit. But... Others are just... Well, to be honest, I have no idea mm. what people earn. Mm. I don't think I ever knew when I were working what other people earned. I knew that the piano tuners ch uh, charged more than me mm. when I were tuning. I knew that. You always said, as long as we were living, you know, we can afford to do everything and we're living comfortably I'm not going to charge what they're charging well I looked at it like how would I f feel if I had to pay such and such an amount of money to have my piano tuned twice a year just for a kiddie to play at piano or summer mm. that's alright I mean I'm in house an hour just over an hour Um. How would I feel about it? That's that's how I look to it. You and gave I, them a recycle afterwards, <laughs> <laughs> didn't you? Well, that that was to prove, prove to prove the tune. piano, make sure it was in tune. Yeah, after I'd done it, mm -hmm. it's one thing to mathematically tune a piano, uh, and another one to play it to make sure that it sounds like it should sound. Hmm. And the only way you can do that really is to play it. Um, yeah. yeah, I was always aware. Probably wasn't charging enough. 
But I, I've been like that all my life. I just think everything is too much. Everything does cost too much. And you, you kind of sympathise with people, don't you? You know, you try to mm. be, try to be fair to people. Yeah. When we re when we restored pianos, we sold them for a lot less than other people were selling them for. A lot of work went into them, didn't they? Yeah. Especially if we stripped them and bench polished them. Yeah. I mean, weeks, I think. Yeah. Was... Yeah, we did. A lot of repairs you did. We could only do so many. Mm. Don't know whether it... Did we take three weeks? I think so. To do one. Mm, might have done. Maybe a month. Mm. Yeah. Life. And you could but, only really ask so much, couldn't you? It won't... But we always managed, though, yeah, didn't we? We yeah. never got into debt. <clears throat> that were delivery and... We never got into debt. No. We paid us mortgage off. But we didn't do a lot. No. No, we didn't. Uh, we, didn't we didn't... Social... Social... The social side of life was non-existent, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. We, we didn't, didn't have a social pubs, life. Then, although they were one really opposite us. <laughs> what? A pub. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't... Didn't go to pubs. No, we cut that all out. Yeah, we right? didn't drink, didn't go to pubs, we didn't eat out. Except on a Saturday with my mum. Mm. Uh, uh, weather be whaler. So that's why we're making up for it now. <laughs> we might seem as though we're in pub a lot, but we only have half and a glass of coke, don't we? Um, sometimes we we have a meal. Sometimes we don't. It's the people that the people <clears> that <throat> were commenting, and the 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 lady, the the anonymous lady who left the. The mm. posts. They were both working age. They were all working age. Yeah. So, I don't know. I could not ever speak um, about living in a van. Um, at their ages. At their ages. Mm. Because we, we both retired and we were both receiving pension when we sold our house. And to do what we're doing, so we, although our pensions, the Small. most basic <coughs> pension you can get. Um, I don't get full pension. I only get half of yours. <laughs> yeah, Pat only gets half of my, the the equivalent of half of my pension. Um, because she didn't qualify for a pension. Um, because I'd only ever work part time, full time, sometimes, at sometimes, and then half part time half at other time, times, other times and, and no work breaks. at other times. Yeah, and I stopped working when I was fifty five, I think. I think it was fifty. Pat. Fifty, was it? I think you stopped when you were yeah. fifty. I think I'd had enough of cleaning and. Yeah, and we lived on one on one wage from then, uh, and then even then. Well, we sold. I started, I went on part time. We sold our main house then and moved yeah. into a park home, didn't we? Yeah, so. And I stopped working. That's right, and then I cut my hours down. So we'd we'd got the money from the house, well, some of the money from the house because we had to buy the park home with some of it, um, put the rest in the bank. Um, and then I I worked three days a week then and then we were used to go off in the van well we had a caravan caravan then we used to go off four days in cam caravan mm. didn't we yeah mm. which were very nice it was a lovely caravan we had it, oh, it, was. it really it was. was like being in your own house really wasn't it it was that big yeah yeah it mm. was i mean it had a lovely bathroom but we could afford to go on sites then. Yeah. And every site we went to were hard standing and hook ups. Mm. And then, with caravan. Th those sites we went on then, they would be 30, 40 quid a night now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So the ratio 
I mean, we're not earning that much more than we were then. But so the ratio has gone really skill with, mm. hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we have sympathy for all these people out there who are struggling. We do. Yeah. I don't know how how we you can... would be able to work and live in a van. Some yeah. people do though. Oh don't they? there's a lot of people out there doing it. Yeah. Yeah. They just manage to either get on a, a site that is doing um, what seasonal, they, pictures. seasonal pictures. Um, no, I don't think so. I think a lot of these people are, just are, are free camping. Free camping in sort of industrial estate. That's the idea and, is is to cut down yeah. your expenses down to a, a bare minimum yeah. and save. Um, Yeah, I think people, some people go wait until a bit later on in sort of early evening, don't they? And park up at an industrial estate. Yeah, I, don't, I, I have no idea where people park when they're working and they're not travelling around. <coughs> they're, they're having to remain yeah. within a... An area. An, an area. And if you've got to use that vehicle to get to work, you've got to have somewhere mm. where you worked. Yeah. Up, yeah. You? Yeah, there's um, yeah. Uh, a chap who's a subscriber on the island. Uh, I won't mention his name, but he, he works three days a week for a retailer. Yeah. Big retailer on the island. Um, and we were saying the other day, where does he park? Where does he park his van when he goes to work? He must have somewhere. Mm. Yeah. I don't know whether he can park in the... Um, yeah, where is yeah, the retailer's retail, car park. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know where he puts it. I should have asked him that. Yeah, mm. I should have. Yeah, but a lot of people are doing it um, because... Things are just really yeah. are not going to get any better either. Irrespective of what you hear on the news, mm. uh, the mainstream media will not give you the truth. No. What, they, mm. what they're saying is not reality. We spoke to someone else, didn't we? And um, they, didn't, they wanted to work less hours, but they get a private... Um, or medical. Medical. Yeah. From where they were. So, yeah. And didn't want to lose that. No. Yeah. But she would have, oh, yeah, liked to have um, mm. cut her hours down. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's worth, worth a lot, isn't it, that, to have that? To medical. Private medical. Yeah. 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 I mean, my brother, um, he had that. Yeah, with the firm he it? worked for. And he, um, when he was younger, he had an um, an accident on his motorbike, and he um, he chipped a bone in his knee, and this bone un he didn't realise that this bone was loose still there, and oh, as he got didn't older, chip, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it did. It gave him yes. a lot of trouble as he got older, and in the end, the firm where we worked for paid for him to go in and have it uh, taken out. Uh, taken out this piece of loose bone, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. You know that, that to have that facility, yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, a bit of a change, a bit of a morning chat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you think about all this. Mm. Okay, folks. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Ta-da.